This is Kenneth Duran of the Los Angeles Times, and this is my DVD Pick of the Week. This week, we're going to look at one of the real staples of American film, the private eye film. There's all kinds of private eyes out there, all kinds of private eyes making movie appearances, and the ones in this week's selection couldn't be more different. First film I'm going to talk about is Clute. It's directed by Alan Pakula. It was a cool, cerebral film, starred Jane Fonda as a call girl and Donald Sutherland as a private detective who gets involved in her life. Very artfully done, one of the great American new cinema classics, and it's good to have it on a Criterion disc. Who is it? Ms. Daniel, my name is Clute. John Clute, I'd like to talk to you. What do you want? My name is John Clute. You said that. I'm an investigator. I'd like to ask you some questions about Tom Grinneman. Who? Tom Grinneman. He wrote you some letters. Wow. He was a research engineer at the Tuscarora Laboratories in Pennsylvania, and he disappeared from there last December. And I've been hired to look for him. Why? You know what I'm talking about, Miss Daniel. Honest. Can I ask you some questions, please? Do you have any identification? You're not a cop. You're not FBI. You're a private detective. And you just want to ask me some questions. The second private eye is more of a hard-boiled type. His name is Michael Shane, and he was a detective whose exploits appeared in major studio films, but in 1946, a Poverty Row studio named PRC got the rights to the character. They made five films starring Hugh Beaumont, and they're all out now on DVD. This is stuff that likely has not been on DVD before. This is the kind of obscure stuff that wonderfully shows up these days, and it's a pleasure to you know, to welcome both Clute and Michael Shane to the DVD world. Rafferty, what's the idea of dragging me out of bed at 3 o'clock in the morning? Set him down, boys. Shane, this is the break I've been waiting for. Take a look at this. Mr. Ramsey. Murdered, strangled to death. And there's the killer caught in the act. Take a look. You ought to know who that is. Yeah. It's Joe Darnell. You're responsible for this. You knew Darnell was an ex-con when you sent him out here to protect Mrs. Ramsey. Sure, I knew he was an ex-con. But if you're saying he was working for me, you're crazy. If he wasn't working for you, what was your check for $50 doing in his pocket? And he was here yesterday afternoon to see Ramsey, telling the butler that you'd sent him. You were expected to send a man out here to guard Mrs. Ramsey. And Joe Darnell was accepted in good faith as being a legitimate, bonded, private operator. Ramsey was aroused this morning by the sound of a struggle in his wife's bedroom. He caught Darnell in there. He dropped him with a bullet. But he was too late. She'd been strangled to death. I'm sorry I can't charge you with being an accomplice. But I will get your license revoked. You'll never operate again as a private detective anywhere in the United States. Joe didn't kill Mrs. Ramsey. There's something phony around here. Even you ought to know that. Sure. It's the Mike Shane Private Detective Agency. All right, boys, take the bodies out. <laughs> 